no one is free who has not obtained the empire of himself no man is free who cannot command himself be silent or let thy words be worth more than silence educate the children and it won't be necessary to punish the men do not say a little in many words but a great deal in few there is geometry in the humming of the strings there is music in the spacing of the spheres in anger we should refrain both from speech and action a blow from your friend is better than a kiss from your enemy rest satisfied with doing well and leave others to talk of you as they please the oldest shortest words yes and no are those which require the most thought no man is free who cannot control himself a man is never as big as when he is on his knees to help a child silence is better than unmeaning words choose rather to be strong of soul than strong of body above all things respect yourself let no one persuade you by word or deed to do or say whatever is not best for you as long as men massacre animals they will kill each other indeed he who sows the seeds of murder and pain cannot reap the joy of love above the cloud with its shadow is the star with its light all is number reason is immortal all else mortal most men and women by birth or nature lack the means to advance in wealth or power but all have the ability to advance in knowledge salt is born of the purest parents the sun and the sea number rules the universe declining from the public ways walk in unfrequented paths choose always the way that seems the best however rough it may be custom will soon render it easy and agreeable as soon as laws are necessary for men they are no longer fit for freedom we ought so to behave to one another as to avoid making enemies of our friends and at the same time to make friends of our enemies anger begins in folly and ends in repentance friends share all things it is only necessary to make war with five things with the maladies of the body the ignorances of the mind with the passions of the body with the seditions of the city 
and the discords of families.